Good morning, everybody out there in social media land. I got a quick announcement, a quick question, actually. I want you to comment below. I've been watching what's going on with the with the stimulus money we're about to get, what they're saying we're going to receive. And so what happened today, they said it's going to go into our bank accounts and um, direct deposit. And if you, if you, you know, had children on your income taxes, they'll give you something per child that you filed on your taxes. So the question that I had, and I don't want to be joking or facetious, but it's a good question. What happens if you did what some people probably still do and allow someone else to file your kids on their income taxes? So that money that you should get for the children that's in your household is going to go to that person who filed your children on their income taxes. Which is illegal. You shouldn't have did it in the first place. But now this opens up a bigger door. It opens up potential arguments. Um, you're going to be calling someone saying, hey, I want the money. And they're going to say, I'm going to split it with you. Or I'm going to give you some of it. Or what happens if the person who who you allow to carry your children, if they lost their job. And they're not interested in giving you anything of what comes in their bank account. Or what if, lo and behold, they say that they didn't receive any money for filing your children? What do you do? What's your outcome? What do you do? How do you handle that situation? That's um, just something I was sitting here thinking about because I'm knowing that this is going to be the next something that goes on in the community because people look for so many ways to duck and swindle or make something. They figure they owe the IRS or they're not going to get nothing back, so they allow other people to file their children and the other person just pays them a percentage of what they get back. But now, being as you let someone else file your kids, they're going to get a check that should have been coming to you. It's going to be deposited into their account, and you're going to be calling them saying, hey, I want the money, I want the money. They might not answer the phone. Um, they may say they didn't get the money. They may say that they're going to give you a percentage of the money. Or they might say, I got the money, I'm not going to give you nothing. So where does this go? What's going to happen now? What are, you, what are people going to do? What's going to be the outcome? Drop some comments below. Drop a situation. If you was in a situation, what would you do? Let's have fun. Everybody's quarantined right now. You're dealing with stuff. You're going through stuff. Let's just have fun throwing this issue up in the air. You let somebody file your children on their taxes. Now, they're getting the money deposited into their account. And every time you call them or text them, they're not answering your phone. What do you do? And if you go over to the house, they say they self-quarantine because they're not feeling good. What do you do? You can't call the police. What you going to call the police and say, I lied on my taxes and let someone file my kids and now they're not giving me the money from the stimulus package? All right. What do you think? Drop a comment below. Let's have fun. Let's have a little jokey joke with this situation. But it's going to be serious to somebody. Someone's going to get into a disagreement. Someone's going to get into an argument. Someone is going to be in the situation behind this. So, you know, let's um just tell me what you do. Drop a comment, like, follow me on YouTube, or subscribe to my channel on YouTube. You see it right there. Heavily motivated, heavily motivated. Find me on YouTube, subscribe, get some positive content, and just uh, stay woke. But tell me, in this situation, what advice do you have to give? Peace.